this bowl, we have um, one package of uh, vanilla wafers, finely crushed, and we have um, one and a half cups of chopped pecans, finely, finely chopped. To this, I am going to add one cup of powdered sugar, a quarter of a cup of corn syrup, light corn syrup. Now we're gonna add two tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder. I have a good black cocoa that I picked up at a local Mennonite store. Um, I really like it, it's got a good rich flavor. And then I'm gonna add a little, little bit more than half of a cup of bourbon. You can go to two thirds, depending on how, how much you like your bourbon, but half of a cup is what the recipe calls for. And now we're gonna mix it all up in the, uh, the mixer. make sure that it is going to hold together well it is but they feel just just a little bit too soggy yet so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some almond flour to firm up the dough okay I've added about half of a cup of almond flour that should do it for firming it up already looking better yeah much better it holds together it's holding together much better you can get more of a ball shape out of it now we are going to make balls out of these and roll them in granulated sugar all right we have the uh, the bourbon balls ready to be formed I'm gonna take some I'm just gonna form them into a little ball this is my second batch I got to take the lid off I'm gonna put them in here yeah, this is a batch I made last night, and my husband said, I uh, probably ought to make some more because we happen to really love bourbon balls. So then I've got a pie pan here with some granulated sugar. Yeah, you can see the little bits of bourbon balls from the last ones that I rolled in there. So I'm just going to plop those in, and we're going to roll them in sugar and put them right there. That's it. <laughs> 